One of the complaints about Teslas are that they're too loud on the interior. So when I hear a complaint, I try to find a solution. Today, the solution is from PimpMyEV.com. This is like some rubber hosing that goes around the perimeter of the car. I will show you how to install it. We're gonna test it before and after to see if it's worth it. These are 80 bucks. I have a discount code in the description. Now I have a 2020 Model Y, so I don't have the double paned glass that the newer models have that a lot of you guys are taking delivery of right now. So you can see my glass here is just this single slat, whereas the new ones, it looks like a sandwich and there's something in the middle. So that helps reduce the cabin noise. So this rubber tubing has like adhesive on it. So it's just gonna go like right here, just around the perimeter of the car. It should help reduce the noise. So I'm gonna do a test before with the decibel meter app. Also, Andrew is going to just take raw footage so you guys can make a decision for yourself to see if it actually works to make your Tesla quieter. Let's get into the video. Okay, so to measure the sound with some type of device, because you guys like science, I like science, this is a science channel, we're gonna be using this app called the decibel meter, DB. So here's a look at it, and I'm gonna take it up to 75 MPH, which is short for miles per hour. Put it on uh, Elon mode. Okay, so we're going 75 miles per hour, and I'm just gonna be quiet. All right, so we're looking between 71 and 75 decibels. We're gonna see if we can improve that now by installing this rubber trim on the car. We'll see, I don't know. Step one, front hood of the noise reduction kit here. I assume that that also says front hood in Spanish. Let's see how this works here. I'm not a fan of complicated installs. We'll see how complicated this is. So this is one piece, they're all custom cut. You can see, and honestly the rubber feel, it actually is an OEM rubber feel. Don't smell it. I smelled it earlier. <coughs> Still not good. Uh, but it looks like there's like this little edge, this reservoir here, and I'm gonna run it all along there. That's where I'm gonna do the install, and this will just be part of the process. Quick side note, I probably should have wiped this down with something, but I didn't. I will do that on the rest of the car, but we're not gonna do it on this part. We've already started. So part one done, again, I, I should have uh, wiped this all off, but we all make mistakes. And then um, there's a little extra on the end, so I'm gonna trim that off. It looks like an OEM quality piece. Like if this was on your car, you wouldn't know the difference. And honestly, wouldn't have been a bad idea for Tesla to do that themselves around the edges. So we're gonna get the rest of the car done, then we're gonna take it back out there. But before we do that, folks, it's here into the AM, the collaboration. You guys voted on it in Discord, on Twitter, on YouTube. You've helped me get to this point with Into the AM, and they finally created a shirt dedicated to the EV community. I think it's pretty sweet. Did a little homage to Camelback Mountain here in the desert landscape, agave, cactus, electric charger, a roadster looking vehicle, and spaceman. Also, it's Pride Month, right? And you're like, Ben, why isn't your logo rainbow? Why aren't you doing anything for the gay community? Well, I have an announcement. Spaceman's gay. Don't say I didn't do anything. Spaceman's gay. Go to intotheam.com. Link is down in description. Support the channel with this shirt. I'd appreciate it. If we have great success with this shirt, maybe there will be more in the future, but I sincerely appreciate it again. Their clothing is extremely comfortable. I wear their basic tees all the time, and their print tees are made of the same material. But if you want something quieter, go with the basic tee. If you want something like this, the unique and supporting the uh, channel, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, check them out. They're well-priced, highly comfortable, highly recommend it. Back to the video.
All right, so now we, I feel like I was back in medical device sales. Posterior caudal, or I don't know how to say that word, to be honest with you. But yeah, so this part of the car is, is right here. The picture that they have on the websites for a Model 3, so it looks a little different. These really cover all the edges. I hope it works for all this, otherwise I'll be tearing it all off. That piece is installed. Also, a piece from Pimp My EV that they sent me that I actually love, I've used it for a while. These seat back covers are Alcantara. I will have those down in the description. I also have, like I said earlier, I have a discount code with Pimp My EV, but these are awesome. They protect the back seats, like if you have kids or something, you know, kicking the backs of the seats, and also it looks really good. Looks like an OEM piece goes with the rest of the interior. We're getting these installed. There's some extra on the ends here. I'll just cut that with scissors. It's better that they have extra. All right, so for this part of it, I've actually cut the strip of adhesive here to stop here. For the rest of it, it'll just go down here. And then I actually might cut it here as well. You could also probably do it in one piece if you wanted, but I'm just trying something out. Ugh, knees are giving out, folks. Like right here, I'm just gonna cut it short of that to leave that open. And then it fits nicely along here and then along these edges. So hopefully this is all worthwhile. Let's see how the door closes. Successful. Hi, Mom. Tell me to take a quick walk. Are you proud of me? Mom's back. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> Good. Hello. My name is Tesla Bot. Follow me. My Tesla was too loud, so therefore I put on this rubber to quiet it down. Ha ha ha. To open a Tesla door, you simply stick your thumb here and press in. Silly, Elon. Ha ha ha. Huh. <laughs> okay, so install's complete. We put all the sound deadening material all through the areas of the car where you're required to. It took me over an hour, but Andrew kept showing me TikToks of various things and we got very distracted. So install time, no clue. If you had a normal brain, we're able to focus on things probably 30, 40 minutes. That's my guess. My favorite part is when you open this front door on the B pillar here. It just has a nice like flush look to it all the way down. And then it closes and you can't even tell it's there. It has like that clean look to it. So that looks really nice. And that has to in some way uh, reduce the cabin noise. So let's get in the car. We'll do our 75 mile per hour test and then we'll cut back and forth so you can hear the before and after. And you can also let me know in the comments if you think it makes a difference. Your chariot awaits. Okay, so same stretch of highway. We're going 75 miles per hour. Have it on autopilot. See what it shows. So based on the readings from the decibel reader, I think it was about a decibel or two quieter, maybe. But overall, and that's also like right in between a really smooth road and a, and a rougher road. It's like right in the middle of those two. I, I don't know, do you feel like it's different? I mean, if anything, it seems a little bit quieter. I'd say yeah. it's a little it's slightly better. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's maybe, it's a slight difference. It's not, you're not gonna get in your car and all of a sudden it's like as quiet as a Mercedes S-Class. It's a little quieter. I mean, if you're just like, I am set on absolutely getting my car as quiet as possible, then yeah. 
So that's it, folks. A uh, little science test today. The new shirt is launched. I appreciate the support on that. Go to intotheam.com. Code Jeeb saves you 10% off of everything. And they always have sales going on, so you can stack my discount code on top of the sale. And look, we can just stack and just stack and pack until there's no money left in your bank account. And that's really all. So thank you all for watching. Appreciate the support. Like the video if you haven't already. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. This is what I do full time. So those likes are free and they, uh, they help me. So I'd appreciate that. We'll see you next time.